So you think it's acceptable to just go ahead and, uh, and make somebody look bad just because they can't wait and try to tell them they can do it just because they're 11 years old? Well, there's something you gotta understand about waiting in indefinite situations. In, in an indefinite situation, in order to wait, people have to have it in their genetics to do that. And, you know, there's about a percent of us who don't, and that's about when we'll need neurophysics to be able to fix it. By assuming a person can wait just because they're a certain age, well, well, you're just telling them that it's acceptable to act up and make them feel like they're responsible for the way they're born. I mean, it can even make them threaten to do something stupid or immature in front of you. Some people say, and if I do this when I wait? Or they could threaten to destroy something of yours if you don't service them when they need it. A lot of times people do that, and if you go telling them to sit quietly and wait when you know that there's a problem and they can't, they will yell no at you. And believe it or doubt it, they actually have a court order to do that if you don't listen. I I mean, well, and as a matter of fact, a lot of other people are having to suffer some pretty tough penalties here on the right-hand side as it is. And see, a parent or guardian who thinks they have a right to make their child wait any time they want to, the real deal is, is it's reported they've been doing that. Their vehicle will be programmed to drive itself away from them, and it can do that without a driver in it through a programming. And it rings the phone and tells them that their vehicle's going away without them. They'll just have to start running after it as fast as they can, and it doesn't stop driving itself away until after they get tired of running. And then what happens is they start the vehicle. It says, to start your vehicle, repeat after me. The waiting remedying is for the neurophysicist to do only, not mine. And contradicting will disable the vehicle for the day. And that means it won't start up again until the next day. And you'll just have to get help from others in punishment for trying to be contrary to someone who to, to neurophysical acts. And then the phone call through a court order program to scare you into thinking that it's getting dark at the wrong time to break up a waiting situation. Let me tell you something. It is perfectly legal to do stuff like that to someone who doesn't care about the fact that someone's inability to wait is part of their genetics. That's just the way it goes. A lot of times when it comes to sledding for the day, the days are short, and by arguing the contrary, that means the phone's grounded for the day, and that means no one talks. That's it. And you could possibly lose your children or property or employment or business for unlawful use of making a person wait. That's kind of what these black and white stripes are. Something else you gotta keep in mind when it comes to having to wait for things is those 1-800 numbers. Do you have any idea just what they're doing to you when they do that? Well, take a look at this orange and follow the order in which the, the rotting spores and you will see just what happens. For every time they're told to wait and this says stay online, someone will be with you. For every time that repeats, another spore adds to the, the rotting and then the rotting just prevails until it gets too bad to where your thought just doesn't work. So I want you to keep something in mind. You can't have 1-800 numbers that repeat consistently. After the fifth repeating time, it is going to automatically say, sorry, no one's available to speak to you today. You'll have to come back again another day. I mean, we don't care if the place loses money to that. You know, that's what the deal's gonna be. And you know, that's what happens to things. People need help and they can't just go trying to call for things and end up getting decomposed over a wait, you know. You can't have money just to do that. In fact, I think um, for every pledge drive that says we pledge through that, it's gonna get taken away. And in order to keep their show, they will sign a written agreement to the modem money taking from others or Skype, but no more 1-800 numbers through the phone, and that's that. You see, if you take the time to understand a little bit about genetic abilities and waiting, you know, then maybe you'll see that the person who's having the problems does understand the concept, just they don't have a way to be able to get it to work. They're not as likely to act up when it comes to waiting episodes, and it prevents stupid or immature things from happening. It also keeps you from getting breached at when told to wait. It also keeps you from getting getting threatened. I mean, a lot of people will trust you if you just leave the repairs to the neurophysicist. It's their job. They're trained to do it. Nobody else is. And you don't have to go through court orders either. You, you can have your own right away by listening. You can also prevent yourself from ever having to get stopped on the phone with things. And you can keep as much as you like. So here's the deal here, and I want you to listen carefully. If you think somebody having a situation where they're having trouble waiting is someone you 
you can handle any way you want, you are wrong. So it's not acceptable any time to make them wait and time out until you're ready. All you're doing is just causing them more trouble. And especially if you try to chase them back to their timeout area every time they leave, you know? I mean, they understand that they're in timeout, but, you know, you're not being any help at all when it comes to, to holding them there. And so a lot of times they'll just get really upset and they'll just derange their behavior to a point where they might just be throwing and banging things consistently. And I'm ashamed to say that by just leaving without saying anything or just simply telling them they lost it, you're ruining it for so many people. It is reported you're doing that. There will be consequences. In fact, I think the way they have those vehicles programmed to drive themselves away, they do that to a lot of hypocritical, shieldish people who make customers wait for nothing. That way it frightens them and then that gets them out. So the customer gets just what they like. Well, that's just what we'll be doing to all the hypocrite ladies in this world. They're no good. They're jailbait and they need to be stopped. There's just no way we're going to buy it to people who say it's part of their personality. Not at all. Not in the least. It's such a stupid thing to do. Can't take activities away from someone who doesn't wait. And that's just the way it is. I'd hate to have any laws against it, but trying to, to get you to understand, we may have to do things the hard way, you know.